Hello there guys, welcome to the next episode. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for, to see Connor's key in the Champions League. Now it's not the official Champions League, obviously, because we haven't qualified just yet, but it could well be it. We've been drawn against HB, I don't know what, Faro from the Faroe Islands. Listen, we stand as good a chance as anybody. We've got a whole squad of new players here, which I'm really excited to use. Um, and things are exciting for us at the minute. Um, we've been given a friend against Newcastle and Plymouth. They came to us and asked for one, which is brilliant. We might have to postpone those, though, if we qualify uh, for the next round of the Champions League. But let's see how we do. So, uh, yeah, we played Collister in goal last year. Right, now I've just got to check here because I've bought some players like this bloke here, this left back. I bought him. So I'm going to play him in that position. Um... <clears throat> I know I've got Smith as well. No, he's not too bad. Actually, he's fairly pacey. So I might put him on the right. Um, we had Hopkins, who was a good tackler. Uh, Thomas was a good tackler as well. So we'll put him in. Defensive midfielder now has to go to Morris, even though he was fantastic for us last season uh, in the centre midfield. <clears throat> he's, he's got to have that role, unfortunately. Um, I've got David Kerr from Chester now. The, the middle of the park is looking really good because we've got, also got uh, this bloke, uh, Greg Hurley, which I think he's a good sign. And we also got Kevin Bartley, who I also think is another good signing. Um, so we're sort of trying to figure out. We've got loads of strikers. So I'm thinking we go Kerr in the centre, we go Bartley right. Um, and I'm thinking we go Hurley left. So if we go like that, and we try that. Now in terms of strikers, this is really interesting because we've bought this guy from uh, Wimbledon, uh, 22K. I think he's got to start. I actually think he's a really good player. Marcus Richardson, I actually like this guy in this game, but we've also got Bloomfield from Norwich. So I'm thinking he's gonna get, um, <clears throat> he's gonna get the head on everyone else there. Um, I'm gonna put Defender, um, let's put, We'll need Griffiths, uh, we will need, because we've got Craig as well, Craig's another good one, from Albion Rovers, I mean he's got acceleration so I might put him on the bench, Marcus Richardson, you've got Kenworthy, you know all these players that we normally had are now suddenly changed around, so let's see how we get on anyway, <coughs> oh god, away goal to them already. That's not a good sign. Okay, there you go. That's the first time though we've got over 1,000, which is really good for us in terms of um, capacity or a set, um, attendance, sorry. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work as well as I wanted it to here. Um, let's bring Kenworthy on instead of this Hurley bloke. Let's see if he can do anything. No, okay, we'll try bringing Richardson on instead of Bloomfield. Anything going on there? No, and we'll finally try Griffiths on for Bartley, even though he's playing a seven. I quite like Griffiths anyway. <coughs> he played really well for us last season. Okay, okay. Right, so there's a bit of hope there. Marcus Richardson with the goal, uh, one all. So we're still in it. You know, we're knackered, don't get me wrong. I think I'm going to go for a few changes here. So, I go to the play on the left. I played Hurley on the left. I'm going to play Kenworthy there. And I'm going to play Griffiths on the right. And then we'll see if that has any effect in the away game. There are a lot of tired players here, which is expected. Because it's um, really early in the season. Oh, shock retirement. Are we gone? There he goes. Sacked it off, fair dues. He's getting on a bit, wasn't he? I mean, it's it's a bit of a shit time for him to retire, though. Collister has gone. Jesus. He's my first team keeper. Christ, right, okay, I'm going to have to find a keeper. Oh, my days. This is all of a sudden turned. Right. <coughs> Tramir. Handling 10. He's young. Oh, bro. Thank you, Handling. Oh, 
bloody hell. Let's see if we can get him till the end of the season. Matthew Gilks. Gilk, sorry, just animation pace. Yeah. Do you know what? We just need a keeper. I don't care who it is. He's not, he's not too bad, actually. I'll pay his wages. Okay, oh my god, here we go. Oh. I'm right, I've got to be keeper and goal. <coughs> I mean, that would help, wouldn't it? <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm thinking about strikers as well. Randall scored quite a few for us last season, didn't he? Have we got a few more transfers incoming? No, we don't. Oh yeah, we got rid of Holmes as well for 220 grand, so that was quite a big deal. That's why we don't have that defensive midfielder. Um, let's bring that guy off. Right, come on. Let's see how we get on here. <coughs> I mean, if we get an early away goal, anything's possible really, but... Get in, and there it is, Bloomfield. You see, I actually think he is a good player. That's not what we wanted. I mean, in a weird kind of way, the ball's still in our court because if we get one now, they've got to get two. Who's playing at five? Thomas at the back. Smith. Right, he's got to come off. I don't. I don't. I just don't trust him. I'm going to bring Randall on, you know. Oh, shit. Yes, there it is. Oh, don't do this to me. No. Oh, well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? Let's be honest. <clears throat> we are knocked out of the Champions League in the first phase. Oh, my goodness. Ian Dunbarvin, he's not a bad keeper, actually. Let's even get him on loan. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm absolutely gutted. Holtz. Dunbarvin. He's with Jed, but... What are we doing here? Um, at least it frees us up for some friendlies to have a little have a little play around. I mean, oh, he's rejected us as well. Yeah, and no, see, it says interested as well, doesn't it? It does say that they're interested, which pisses me off because you'd think, all right, they're going to come to me. Who's he wanted by? Don't even know who that is. Mark Russell. Jesus, man. I mean, this is not good. To be fair, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with my keeper anyway. <coughs> right. Let's try him. Let's try him going up front here now. Uh, Carol on the bench as well. Right, I'm hoping that these friendlies actually bring in some income for us as well. And that, um, you know, we get a few people through the gate. Newcastle, ooh. Have we got any more expired players here? No. He's at Southport. No one seems to go near him. <coughs> yeah. Adam Scott. No, not him. Yeah, he's the guy I wanted scouting, actually. Paul Edwards on the left. No, we don't need any of those. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't need any wingers. Right, here we go. So, let's have a little look. Let's try... Putting him in there. 
mean, we're going to get absolutely levered here. Don't get me wrong, but... <clears throat> not that it not that it matters in any way this these these friendlies i mean the only thing i'm going to look at how much income it brings in for this game and then if if it's like a ridiculous attendance and it's rubbish i'm just going to cancel the next friendly and we're just going to get on with the league <clears throat> goodness me i'm getting leathered here um but yeah, we're out of the Champions League, which is gutting. But I'm hoping that, you know, the Welsh Premier League is sort of... I mean, it's easier, isn't it? Let's be honest, the Welsh Premier. Yeah, 1,068. So I probably will stick to it because it's money coming in the gate, isn't it, really? <coughs> Even though we're getting leathered every game. Okay, right. So Coxie for Kenworthy. Carroll for Kerr, Richardson for that Awusu, Randall for Bloomfield, Hurley for Bartley, um, <clears throat> oh, I wanted to play that Craig actually, that's annoying, right that'll do for now, I do actually want to play that Craig, I've just realised that he's, he seems like quite a good player. I mean, we, we expected to get leathered here, you know, don't get me wrong. Let me just check on something there, the finances, uh, the income. Let's just see how much in terms of gate receipts we've got there. 6,000. Yeah, so last year, to be fair, that's a massive improvement. <clears throat> that is a huge improvement. I think we will stick with Plymouth. I don't know how big it will be, but we'll definitely give it a go because we've still got a lot of time before the first league game of the season. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, that's a good... Five million! It's absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Telford. Actually, they've gone for him. Why have they gone for him? He must be good. I'll put, just, I'll just put a little bid in for him. Go on. Put a little goal bonus in as well, 15 quid. Treat yourself. Right, Hopkins and Thomas at the back have got a change, which is fine. No, <clears throat> we can do that. Um, who was it that I wanted to play? That Craig. So I wanted him on the right. Let's see what he can do. Morris is exhausted. We'll put Carol in that position. Okay, let's give it a go. <clears throat> Simon Rusk. Is he the one from Boston? Bloody hell. 40k. Look at his stats already, man, for a defensive midfielder. He's pretty good. I like that. Excuse me for the cough as well today. <coughs> Honestly, I don't know where this has come from. <clears throat> don't know if it's Corona. God knows. I doubt it. Okay, we're not playing too bad here. There's a few sevens cropping up, which is nice. Again, I don't expect to see anything major here. I don't expect us to beat Plymouth. You know, they're on a different level to us. Five, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll take it. How is that, Craig? But oh, he's only playing a bloody five. I'm a little bit gutted about that. I thought he played a bit better than that. But saying that, this this opposition is it's decent, isn't it? So let's just bear that in mind before we criticise. Let's get Marcus on. Marcus Richardson. Um, someone say he was injured then. Th those two are playing all right up front together. To be fair. Yeah, he got a goal. Yeah, I don't know who my... I think I've got like three. Maybe it's worth looking at a different formation here. 
I think I still need that defensive midfielder, which, you know, we only have one of. Don't know if it's a good thing, really, but, you know. Uh, let's have a little look here. Um, let's have a little play with tactics. Um, so, because, ideally... Yeah... We could push these up. And... We could do that. What do we think? That gives us a bit more. I might try and quickly get in another friendly before this league starts, actually. Um, let's arrange a home friendly. Let's get it in there as soon as we possibly can. Um, oh, they're unavailable. Are any of these guys going to be available? Yeah, let's, let's just check. <clears throat> Lovely. <clears throat> so we want to we want to really play against um, someone from our league anyway, just to give us an idea of what we're going to be up against this season anyway. Um, and then we'll try this formation out and we'll see if it works. Because the thing is, we actually have a lot of strikers now, and by playing three up front, it gives a chance for more to come in on a regular basis, and the ones that weren't on the bench to get on the bench. So Jones. Oh my God! As if he's accepted us on one K. We've got one K. Don't you worry. There you go. He's actually a really good defender. Do you know what? He's not too bad at all. Oh, Macaulay. <gasps> scout. Scout. Oh, I know I have scouted him. Why can't I scout him anymore? Oh, is he gone somewhere, is he? Oh, my God, Agahawa. Tottenham's that. So Ipswich had him and they got rid of him. What are you playing at? Mark Pratt. How have they got him? Where has he come from? That's unbelievable. I genuinely don't know where he's come from. Right, so if people like him can go down, that's my thinking, and him, they can go in the reserves. We can actually have a bit of a reserve team here. Um, he's 29. I kind of want to keep him in there. I don't want to be a bit mean on him. 21 Cox. Cox played really well last season. <clears throat> and I feel really mean if I was to put him down. He could go down. Because we've only got one central midfielder this time. Looking at defenders here as well. Which ones don't we use? We, we don't use this guy. Get to the reserves. So now at least the reserves have a bit of a team. Um, so we'll put Horn in goal. We've got two centre-backs now. I reckon he goes as one. We've got Hopkins, who's tackling to 12. Oh, we've got Thomas. His heading's poor, though. There it is. Oh, no, we've got Smith. Oh, no, we, we wanted him on the right, didn't we? He's got a bit of pace about him. Right, let's go Hopkins. Left him. Right Smith. Defensive mid, Phil Morris. Is it Phil Morris? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Um, the two central midfielders are going to be the ones that push up. So for now, I'm going to say Bartley and Griffiths for now. Three strikers. Let's go with them. Right, He hasn't got a preferred side. He hasn't got a preferred side. He hasn't got a preferred side. Um, <clears throat> let's try it that way. Keeper, defender, defender. Oh yeah, shit, we've got Kerr as well. He's one that misses out because of this formation. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Right, let's try it. I want to. I want to just see what happens here with the team that we've got. Right, 
That's what friendlies are about, aren't they, anyway? They're about looking to see if we can switch things up. Jesus, that does not look good at all. Uh, it might be a case that we have to go back. But then we've got quality strikers. This is the thing. The three strikers that we have up front are really good strikers for this league. I actually think this might be the way forward. Even if, if this result doesn't go for us today, I do still think that that has potential. My only issue is is that where that Jim Smith is playing at like a, a right a fullback, I feel like I need a better a right fullback than him. Bloomfield, see, I think he's good. Bloomfield, he's come from Norwich. Awusu's come from Wimbledon. Richardson's come from the English league as well. They're good players. 148 attendance there. Let me try Kerr in that defensive midfield role where Morris is now. Let me see what he does there. To be fair, I think we've done alright there. Let's take Bartley off. Let's get Randall on. Um, let's get Carroll on for Griffiths. Andrew Thomas instead of Jones. <clears throat> yeah, only a friendly, but I think I think that could be the answer. I think it could be. I'm not going to do any more friendlies now. I think I'm just going to leave that until we get to the first game of the season. Um, yeah, that hasn't been too bad, guys, to be honest with you. I think we've done okay, obviously, out of the Champions League. Who did they get, by the way? That's what I want to see. Where are they? Are they getting knocked out? Hang on a minute. So they're out already. Let's have a look. Oh, well, yeah, they're Copenhagen. Yeah. That is, and who did they get? St eh, st yeah, they're, they're solid though. Yeah, we we ain't getting past teams like that. That's the problem, isn't it? This is Europe's best. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there for that. Next video is gonna be the start of the season. So we've just gone through pre-season and trying to qualify for the Champions League, which we failed dramatically. A few friendlies just to mix formations up as well. I want to see how things can change with three strikers possibly instead of the two. Um, so yeah, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.